in this module you will talk about desire but this time you will discuss it in light of the views of sociologists and again we start with childhood in childhood gender difference is established then in adolescence desire breaks a rigid separation we have already talked about it in previous modules how it happens at this stage of break what happens the desire emerges in extra attention to personal beauty and strength so how desire emerges how it shows itself it shows itself when we pay extra attention extraordinary attention to our attractiveness and our strength no gender is free from this desire males and females alike they go through this experience of desire it is expressed through fashions how can we note it observe it materially physically we note it through fashions cosmetics vehicles homes furnishings food layer activities even in choice of painting colors this uh, difference is this uh, desire is obvious then we see mushroom growth of gyms salons beauty parlors all these things are everywhere in metropolitan cities of pakistan and especially in moderate cities of pakistan why because both sexes spend a lot of time and money over there why this is also indication that this desire is very strong it has some effect from this we can conclude that gender development continues from childhood to adolescence we pass through different stages and phases how through socialization with social orders what we do through uh, during socialization we learn social orders what are social orders they are expectations and they are norms of the new context where we perform different roles and different activities let's explore these ideas about desire with the help of a task it is said that girls desire to look beautiful they seek protection this is common perception they cry even mockingly to get attention of others to attention uh, uh, father's attention to grab their attention for some demand for some desire but if we practically see female athletes seem to negate these feminine desires how would you think about that recall to your mind some horror movie or boxing bout boxing competition and support or reject the above statement that girls always desire to be attractive and feminine and delicate and they try to cry to get attention of other people but when you see these people uh, these women especially fighting in a boxing bout so they seem to negate these views are another task that can be done to understand these points write your own experiences or observations using third person pronoun because when you write directly by using first person so you try to avoid certain things to uh, talk about openly uh, but with third person you can experience you can explain your experiences 
in a very direct manner and open manner. So that's why I have uh, suggested that use third person. 